The U.S. Department of Education sent a letter to Governor Kemp saying the state may have shortchanged one HBCU millions of dollars over 30 years. Camila Williams went to Fort Valley State University and talked with the president and students about funding for HBCUs and why they think they're getting underfunded. Ahmad Hardin has blue and gold in his veins. I always talk with the alumni, I always talk with my grandfather's family and friends. They always push me to go to Fort Valley State University. He says once he saw the resources and everything the school could do for him. I made my choice to live for it. But a federal agency says state choices left the school underfunded. It, it's not something that I'm unaware of. On Monday, the U.S. Department of Education and Agriculture sent a letter to Governor Brian Kemp saying the school should have received $600 million more from the state over 30 years. FBSU President Dr. Paul Jones serves on the Council of 1890 HBCUs, a group of historically black colleges formed that year by federal law. He says it's less about the money and more about making sure the school provides outreach and service to their AG partners and students. We're doing important research with the University of Georgia right now, right now on uh, whether it's peanuts um, and the, and the, the aflatoxin um, uh, uh, challenges that our farmers are having. So we're able to do that important research because of that support. Fort Valley State is the state's second land grant institution with UGA as the first. Under federal law, this means the state must distribute funds fairly between the two schools. Jones says the extra money would improve campus life. The, the funds are needed for our facilities to make sure that we continue to have statewide, uh, 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 we have state-of-the-art facilities so that we can do the important research that we do. Hardin says many HBCUs don't receive adequate funding and this affects students' lives after college. When we get there to the real world, we need to, and we witness to using this equipment, a lot of times we missed that experience because we could have had that experience here. But Jones says having the money to help the students and farmers would be useful now and not later. In Fort Valley, Camila Williams, 13 WMAZ News. Now we did reach out to Governor Kemp's office for comment and did not hear back. The Department of Education sent letters to 16 governors, including Governor Kemp. Those include mostly southern states from Alabama and Florida to Texas and West Virginia.